G.I. Jane, my G.I. Jane loves me. You can see it's very plain, we're happy as can be. When the bugle blows its call, it says, fall in love you all. So I say, Jane, I love you. I say, I love you. Then, then we begin, begin a moonlight a maneuver, maneuver forward march till dreams come true. Jane and I love army life. We think it's really fine. Thanks to Uncle Sam, she's mine. I'm so proud, I want to shout to all the world. Attention! Gee, I love my G.I. Jane. Army life. We think it's really fine. Thanks to Uncle Sam, she's mine. I'm so proud, I want to shout to all the world. Attention! Gee, I love my G.I. Population, this proclamation we bring. If you have charm and talent, then we have special news. You gals can all be gallant, for you have the talent Uncle Sam can use. If you can type, then you're the type. If you can drive the man alive, what are you waiting for? What's the idea, Lieutenant? That isn't a chorus line. In the Army, we don't mark time that way. You and your Army. Now, look, Miss Lieutenant, it's your job to be technical advisor on this show, and it's my job to keep it bouncing. Later, honey, I'm trying to put zip into it. Zip. Z-I-P. I suggest you leave that to nature. And it's too bad, Mr. Uh... Uh, Rawlings. Well, it's too bad, Mr. Rawlings, that you aren't more familiar with Army procedure. <laughs> oh, she says too bad. To tell you the truth, Major, I'm allergic to uniforms, and I intend to stay that way. We need stenographers, geographers, typographers, a few. We need some operators, tabulators, calculators, too. We need technicians, dietitian for position you can fill. If you can fill and do the lift, then we insist you fill the bill. We need a gal to build morale and be a pal to be our no. A personnel will treat you well if you'll just tell us what you know. If you don't know, then tell us so you needn't go away and go. You must admit that this is it. What are you waiting for? Line up and sign up for the women. Army Fellas, give the little girls a great big hand. A uh, foot, I'll give them. Two feet. A uh, heckler, eh? What are you, mice or men? I guess we're men. 
So my mommy told me. Well, don't bet on it. Charging us admission for a thing like that. I forget me buck back. Yeah, me too. I promised you guys a show and you got it. What do you want for a buck? The Metropolitan Opera? Relax, Mousy. I'm sure glad. Pushing these dames around tires a guy. Oh, my arms. <clears throat> Almost never like this. Well, who's asking you to remind us? Always griping, aren't you, Sarge? Me? I just love it here. Mm. Go stuff yourself. Yeah. I don't care for ham on rye, for apple, peach, or pumpkin pie. But I love girls. Can't see those foreign cars or taking trips from here to Mars. But I love girls. I love to hear them rustle and I love their luscious faces. They're angled here and rounded there in just the proper places. Any girl's a girl for me, just as long as she's a she. Cause I love girls. On Canasta, I'm not sold. Italian movies leave me cold. Ooh, but I love girls. I don't go for stag affairs or hunting Rocky Mountain bears. Mmm, but I love girls. Their perfume really knocks me out. Sets my head a reeling, and when they blink their eyes at me, I go right through the ceiling. They make my blood pressure high, but what a lovely way to die. Cause I love crazy bottom. Oh, mama, I love girls. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need a little bit of romance. I've got an idea. What would you guys say if I produce some gals for you? You just did. Out of cardboard. Gals who walk, gals who dance. Puppets. Gals who talk, gals who sing. You ain't a ventriloquist, are you? I've got 500 bucks to say I can do it. Slowly. Just say it slowly. You mean you'll bet five C's that you can produce some real girls here in this sand pile? That's what the man said. Real girls? Mm-hmm. You ain't lost your marble, Sarge. 500. What do uh, you say, fellas? I guess some people were just born to be took, and I'm one of them. I'm in. Me too. Me too. It's a deal. Now, just relax. He must have blown his top. Yeah. What an easy 500. <laughs> so where will we spend it? Sergeant, what do you think you're doing? I'm, uh, I'm looking for girls, sir. In there? Well, no, sir. But you said you were. Yes, sir. Sergeant, are you trying to confuse me? No, sir. Isn't there anything you can say except no, sir, and yes, sir? Yes, sir. Pick up those papers. Yes, sir. Have you lost your mind? Maybe, sir. Everything was serene at this post, peaceful until you came. And that stupid name you've put up. You know, your idea. Is that your sense of humor, you know? No, I haven't lost my mind, sir. Well, you're standing on them, the girls. You ought to be in a straitjacket. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I'd like to explain, sir. Well, you'd better. Please read this. Well, what's this got to do with it? It's just a request sent to all the posts, wanting to know if we need any wax. Well, we don't need any. It's like this, sir. The men aren't very happy here. Oh, and what's wrong with here? Look. Over there. And over here. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Well... Palm Springs? No. The Mojave Desert? No. It does get warm, sir. But back to the wax. Oh, it's a little warm for you, Sergeant. Well, you're gonna have your wish. Sit down at that typewriter. Go on, sit down. Paper. A requisition for wax, a squad will be plenty. A request for transfer away from this place. Marked urgent. For you? For you. Me? 
Sergeant, do you like goose pimples? Well, it's all according to what raises them, sir. Oh, Alaska. That's it, Alaska. You'll love it there, Sergeant. But, Lieutenant... Go on, start typing. Alaska begins with A. Come on, come on, 500 bucks. I get stabbed in the back and you rub in salt. $500 or deliver the gals. Not only does that imitation of a brass hat make me type it myself, I've got to deliver it myself. Aren't you changing the subject, sir? Okay, sad truth is I'm busted, flat. Tap City. But I'll give you an IOU. An IOU? Well, sure. That's like money in the bank. Well, what do you know? The first time I got money in the bank. been nearsighted. <laughs> you remember Hilda, don't you? Hilda Beck. Beck, sure, you did a tap routine on my show. Glad you remember, Sergeant. <laughs> Looks like your tap dancing days are over, huh? Not while I still have my own pins. Great! <laughs> George, go, go, go! Detail, sir. Testing for echoes, sir. Echoes? Yes, sir. Special order number 9876321, AXB0457011. Oh? To ascertain, sir, the length of time it takes an echo to bounce back along the corridor. A sort of radar in the flesh, sir. I'll demonstrate, sir. One, two, there. Two seconds. Did you hear it bounce, sir? Mm, yes. Yes. Tim, a genius. For a moment, I pictured both of us writing out our own transfers. What? This is where we serve. Oh, fate. This is where I was heading. A transfer? Yeah. You know what happened to her the first time she had a transfer to write out? What? She made the mistake of putting the authorizing officer's name where the transferee's name should have been. And before the officer knew it, he was the one shipped to Germany after studying Japanese for two years. <laughs> oh, really? How could you make such a mistake? What can happen to anybody? It sure can. Palm Springs, Mojave, and a suntan, too. All right, all right. We'll, we'll discuss it later. I'm going down to the hospital. Don't you feel well, Colonel? I'm going to have my hearing checked. Oh? Now, quiet. One, two. Did you hear it? Hear what, sir? The echo. Echo? Your hearing needs checking, too. Yes, sir. Twelve copies. Naturally. I'll dictate. Request for transfer from 2nd Lieutenant B. Bradford. Lieutenant 
D. No, D. Not D. B. B as in bachelor. This is a mistake. Go tell them it's a mistake. No, no, wait, wait. No, go, go. No, wait, wait. Give me a jeep. Give me, give me Corporal Tulip. Give me a jeep. Give me a jeep. Go on. Which first, sir? Don't ask questions. Uh, do you mean, sir, you're going to Alaska in a jeep? Who's going to Alaska? I'm going to command headquarters. Well, go on. Someone's going to hang for this. Yes, sir. In. In, out, in, out, shoulders back. In, out, shoulders back. In, out, stomach. In, in, out, in, out, in, out. Hold it. Now the bicycle. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Is he smooth? Mmm, nice. Wait until he takes off his sheep's clothing. Not with me, he won't. Do you want a chaperone tonight? I won't need one. How naive can you be? One, two, one, two, one, two. limber up, hold. Private Pilsnick. Yes, Lieutenant? What did you do before you joined the Army? Uh, I worked in a pretzel factory. Why? That'll be all. <clears throat> Tension. At ease. Well, I might as well tell you we're moving out. Wow. When? The only thing I can tell you is when. Tonight. Where? I haven't the slightest idea. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe Paris. All right, pack your duffels. Squad, fall out. What do I do? You can't get court martial for asking. Lieutenant. Yes? I have a date tonight. You certainly have with us. Now pack. Yes, Lieutenant. Any luck? No. You better pack your uke. Oh, thanks. Here today and gone tomorrow, that's the way it's always been. Spend your pay and then you borrow, and you worry till you pay it back again. And then you pack your bag and travel somewhere new when you arrive. It just proves one thing to you here today and gone tomorrow. It will never change no matter what you do. Remember, miss, remember, miss, you're in business now with Uncle Sam. You're going far, you're going wide. You may even get to see the other side. How true. Remember, miss. Remember, Miss? Yes? You're in business now with Uncle Sam. You may go east, you may go west. You may even find yourself a foreign guest. I'd like to be on the beach at Waikiki. Oh, give me the lights of the Perry. Ooh, la, la, la. Woo, wee, wee. Remember, Miss? Remember, miss, 
You're in business now with Uncle Sam. You may see sun, you may see snow. I may see an African or a Eskimo. Oh, I'll take the high road and I'll take the low road long as I get to Scotland. I would like to roam around with Romans in Italy. In, in Italy. Italy. In Italy. Remember, miss. Remember, miss. You're a part of the best team in the land. You'll be working night and day yet you won't get extra pay and your feet will get as cold as the spam one and but you're sure to be a VIP. You're in business with Uncle Sam. You're in business with Uncle Sam. Ah, for sure. Dancing? You're dancing right out of here. You're out of bounds. You want another judo lesson? I'm at your service. You? Old lady regulations herself. Why, if it isn't the impresario. <laughs> I thought you were allergic to uniforms. And look what you did to it. Would you like me to brush you off? Ah, uh, once is enough. Ah, uh, don't take it so hard. I know. This is the army. And stay out of the women's division. Excuse me, Sergeant. Where are you going? In there. In here? You want to be murdered? What? Oh, I got to get in. I got to give them these travel orders. Are they leaving? Yes. Can't you know? You know? Yeah. Five hundred bucks, I could kiss you. Hey, you sure you're all right? Well, this is great. How come they're going to that hole in the desert? The desert? What kind of an IQ you got? And a sergeant yet. You know's in Alaska. Alaska? Oh, yeah, sure, Alaska. Look, uh, I'll take them in for you. Well, you? I'm special detail in charge of shipments. Okay. Truck's waiting in the motor pool to take them to the depot. Kiss them goodbye for me. I'm too tired. in my ears. That wasn't bad, sir, but when that medico tapped my head with that rubber hammer. I can hardly wait until I get my eyes on that sergeant. When I do, I'll echo him, but good. Information like this is top secret. Yeah? Did you ever hear of ciphers, secret codes? Yeah. Well, anybody looking at these travel orders will know those whacks are heading for Juno. Yeah. You gotta put it in code. Top orders. Yeah? Instead of spelling it J-U-N-E-A-U, -E spell it U hyphen N-O. You fool them. Get it? Yeah. And put in guide to be attached to unit. Yeah. I'll stick around. Yeah. Very simple. I don't want to go to Alaska. But it says here you do. I don't care what it says there. Maybe the heat got you, Lieutenant. That, that desert sun does things. Sergeant, everybody can't be stupid. Why not? Look, pretend like we just met. How do you do, Lieutenant? And what can I do for you? I want you to cancel these orders. Me? Hope you have a nice trip to Alaska, sir.
you know anything about travel orders? Yeah. Well, these are wrong. I never applied for them. Yeah? I suppose you're going to tell me you can't do anything about them. Yeah. Chewing gum. Yeah. Isn't there anybody around here who knows anything? Yeah. Is a post commander's office in this building? Yeah. And yeah to you, too. Uh, yes, sir. The colonel's orders, Major. Every male sergeant on the post is to report to the officer of the day at once. Thank you. Lieutenant Bradford, sir. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We'll say something. I have travel orders, sir, uh, transferring me to Alaska. And what are you doing here? For your information, this is not Alaska. Yes, sir, I know, sir. You see, a, a mistake has occurred. Lieutenant, let me apprise you of something. The Army does not make mistakes. The Army knows what it's doing. If you have orders to go to Alaska, it is evident that that's where you are needed. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, soldier, you. I made a mistake. I'm not special detail in charge of shipments anymore. You never know where you are around here. Right, here's the orders for the wax. Urgent. Get them rolling. I'll check with transport. Okay. Everything is urgent. Jeeps, one command card ordinance. Yes. You assign transportation? No, I just sit in this shack because I'm homesick. Well, next time I come in, I'll bring you a calendar. A truck for a squad of wax. Second squad, first platoon D Company. Here are the orders. Number 8793, section 4. Corporal Malakowski, transport, gate 8. All sergeants? Check. Park in the area way past gate B. Hey, you a tree striper? You jealous? You a male? How long you been stuck out here, bud? An order just came through. All male sergeants report to the officer of the day. Maybe they're gonna issue bull whips to you. Well, right now I could use one, wise guy. It's parked in the area way past gate B. Forward, march!
heart trouble, Lieutenant. Up! Ah, no man's worth it. Small world. How did you get here? The stork brought me. Well, tell him to take you back. You know, that's impossible. My orders say different. I'm your guide. I'd rather have a seeing eye dog. Now, Lieutenant, you and I are going a long way together. And you look as if you could be so nice to me. <laughs> I bet you tell that to all the lieutenants. I don't know all the lieutenants. But when they're like you. <laughs> OK. Better be good. Well, I'll try. Tim! Never let it be said that when I have a date, I don't keep it. Always the gentleman, that's me. Time's up, girls. Sergeant, will it take us to get where you're headed for? All according, Lieutenant. There's a direct way and an indirect way. And I don't agree with the philosophy that a straight line is the quickest way between two points. The shortest way, yes, but not necessarily the quickest. Is this a lesson in maneuvers? Often with the direct way, you never get there. No? An example, for instance. Say I wanted to kiss this PFC sitting here beside me. Yes. That has nothing to do with where we're going. It might. It does. What would happen if I should ask her directly? Would she say yes? Tim. She might, and then again, she might not. But with the indirect way, ah, first my arm moves around her lightly, thus. Merely a friendly gesture. 
Then perhaps I put my head next to hers. Nothing ulterior, she thinks. Perhaps I'm tired. Then with the other hand, thusly, I take her chin. Who knows, I may have studied dentistry and I'm interested in chins. Then I look into her eyes. To fit me for glasses? Precisely. Then, then... Please, get it over with. Please. So, in other words... Never mind the other words. You better get in the back. Yes, I'm doing. Lieutenant. So quickly? The indirect way, Lieutenant. It's just a mistake. Open the gate. Your quarters, Lieutenant. Forward! March! You sure done it. Hey, a miracle man. I thought you were shipped to Alaska. Well, the commanding general thought I was more important here, and Lieutenant Bradford was more important there. Okay, boys, let's talk business. Five hundred bucks. Oh, give us a chance. We ain't fully awake yet. Yeah, and what's the matter with you insulting them? What are you, what's the matter, you moron or something? Yeah, shooting at them. Well, gee, I thought maybe I'd get a purple heart. A purple heart you want? A purple head I'll give you. Hey, how about apologizing to them? I'll do it. Hey, wait a minute, I thought it up. Just a minute, boys. I'm an expert at apologizing. Oh, oh no! no. Start right at the start of the channels. Oh, then right. to the post command, then to the district command, then to the area command. Can't tell you. Then how. to the section command and right up to the Pentagon. Oh, that's that's right. But everything's okay now. I thank you. You leave on the next train for Seattle for transshipment by boat to Alaska. You got ten minutes to make it. How's that for service? No. No! I won't go! No? Blouse on, you'd see Staff Sergeant Tennessee Jones. You? Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant. Good morning. I'm ranking officer here now. On your feet, tension. Uh, just a second there, Lieutenant. But... What is it, Corporal? No, 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 Sergeant. You've just lost two stripes for insubordination. You can't do this to me. 
I suggest you complain through regular channels. Private, Tennessee Jones. Private? Well, at least I can't get any lower. No? You could be a lieutenant. Yeah. No whack can do this to me. Good. Have you seen Sergeant Rawlings? I ain't seen nothing. I always said, clean hair is just as important. This kid, a real hot rodder. Just what were you doing under there? Well, she, uh, she needed a hand. We're, uh, old friends. That's fine. Back to your job. Yes, Lieutenant. And as for you, I could use a little help myself. Yes, Lieutenant. Okay, Lieutenant? Okay, Sergeant. If there's anything else the Lieutenant would like me to do. Uh, yes. Uh, this place needs fixing up. Where did you get it? Be prepared, that's my motto. Now, uh, close your eyes. And your mouth, too. Well, here she comes. Mmm, Casanova. Boy, oh boy. Now me for that twisty whack. Ah, uh, you ain't got a chance with hair or without hair. Every time a shadow falls on one of them, that lieutenant's gonna blow a whistle. Does that box need four hands? No, no lieutenant. lieutenant. Then one of you let go. Ah! To your quarters. You, start bending. Soon? Just stretching. Is that lemonade still cold? Yes, I think it is. Would you like some, Lieutenant? Please. Baby, I can wait. I can wait forever. Nothing's gonna change my mind. I'll be so adoring. You may find it boring, but baby. Please be kind. I'm in such a state. Why should you discourage? Might as well encourage me. I'm so sure that someday you will see it my way. And baby, I can wait. Everyone ends up with someone. I want to wind up with you. You go on having your own fun. Just come to me when you're through. Cause, baby, I can wait. I can wait forever. I'm not a now or never gal. I'm the patient type. Patient and persistent. And, baby, I can wait. Well... I know it's going to be rugged, but we've simply got to have discipline at this post. And there will be absolutely no fraternization. None at all, except, of course, in the line of duty. And she has to give the orders. Any questions? What is that, that fraternize, fra, 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 uh, what you said? It means no mingling with the men. We can't do that? I'm afraid not. Any other questions? The nights here were so beautiful. What has that to do with it? Well, that's the other question. Oh. 
Well, say something. I'll say something. I'm not paying you a cent. Just a bunch of Welshers. You're backing down on the bed, eh? Ah, the next thing the lieutenant will want is to polish every grain of sand. Sure. We wanted wax, but we don't even get a chance to talk to him. And that twisty one could sure twist me. The way I feel right now, i I'll be a gentleman, even if it hurts. What I'm going to say is I'm for trading in the whole lot for Lieutenant Bradford. At least we had some rest then. Then you're not paying up. You can go whistle. Corporal. Always, always, always. Might as well be on a desert island. Worse! On a desert island, you can hope. Look. And have her blow that whistle? I've got an idea. Oh, what good will it do? Tell it to the general. But you ain't getting that 500. Well, men are men and women are women, right? I don't remember. Are you going to listen to me or aren't you? We are all ears. Now, here's the deal. Later tonight. to throw a party. Here we are alone, and all you're thinking about is getting the other boys and girls together. You want me to be selfish? Lieutenant Adrian wouldn't go for it. I'll take care of her. How sweet of you. Oh, please. Mm. 
My name's Chuck. My name's Hilda. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna buy a farm. I like farms. And chickens? And chickens. Hello. Chucky! 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 A cutie you pie! <laughs> I should have known you then. Were you a pretty baby? Yeah, long curls and everything. Oh, just imagine. Oh, and it's such nice, smooth hair, too. It's funny, I never noticed it before. Well, what's the matter? Don't you feel well? Oh, I know what's wrong. You're ticklish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm ticklish. <laughs> For you. For me? Yeah. Oh, that's silly. I just love bald-headed men. You do? Sure. It means they're brainy. Grass doesn't grow on a busy street. Gee, honey bun. Well, what happened? Guess you win your 500, Tim. Right. It's worth it. What 500? Uh, Tim made a bet he could bring us together with some wax. Tim! But I thought it was fate. You mean you did this to win a bet? I can explain everything. You just did. And stay away from me. I can blow a whistle as well as anybody. Oh, every time that whistle blows, I get a chill all over. Like sitting on an iceberg. I requisitioned a squad of wax to be sent to Juno, and what do I get? You, I'm as upset about it as you are, Major. What do you use for teeth, castanets? Or do you come from a long line of Spanish dancers? And headquarters insist they've been sent. Read me the travel orders. They don't even know how to spell down there. You know. You and for Juno. Can you imagine that? You know. Of course I know. I'm telling you, am I not? I've got it, Major. I've got it. What? If you brought some contagious disease here. You know. Not me. I, I can't even diagnose a common cold. The camp. The wax. This is what must have happened. I know where they are. Major James Simpkins, Weather Station 59, Alaska. Yes, General. I promise you this is going to be washed up, but fast. Say, fellas. Okay. What's money? If you ain't got it, it's nothing. If you got it, it's like nothing. How you doing? Well, what's this? On account. You brought the waxer, didn't you? So you won. Oh, forget it. I could have just as well delivered a bunch of window dummies for all the good it did. Ever hear of anybody marrying a window dummy? Well, let just one ask me. I'm getting hitched. Me and Hilda. You and Hilda getting hitched, but you haven't had a chance to talk to her. No. Gonna use your own. Oh, come on. Hey, you want it on a phone? H, I, H, O. Hi, honey. Quarters. Yes, Lieutenant. Let me 
Rico. Say, what is this? A correspondence school in romance? Well, we're engaged. Engaged for what? To be married. Married? You mean love blossomed right under my nose and I didn't even smell it? Wonderful. You've got to tell me all about it and spare none of the details. Wonderful. Hmm, this desert air does something to you, doesn't it? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to punch that lieutenant right in the nose. Well, she's a woman. To me, she's a, a lieutenant. Hold it. You'll need friends on the outside. It's not her fault. I'm to blame. Darling. The whistle, don't. No, she's for it, honestly. Guess romance is catching. Say, why don't we give a party and announce it officially? My, how I've changed. By the way, does uh, Tim dance? Ask him, Lieutenant. Dance? Well, I, uh... It's in order. Sergeant? Oh, baby, please. How about showing them those fancy steps of yours, honey? For you, anything. All right, everybody. Sit down now. Uh, one second, Lieutenant. her. Oh, Angel, does a wagon have anything to say about following a horse? Orders. But never again, even if it means a court martial. My hero. Ah, you're a great audience. So I'd like to introduce the greatest lyric writer of all times, Private, formerly Staff Sergeant, <laughs> Tennessee Jones. Come on. There we go. Okay, Professor, a little music, huh? Don't be nervous in the service, soldier boy. There are others, all big brothers, soldier boy. You say you'd give a million to be a plain civilian. Let me tell you, you're a lucky soldier boy. Now everything in life ain't milk and honey. Dude, 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 this is your big chance to keep on saving. Money! Always keep your sense of humor, soldier boy. Even though you hear a rumor, soldier boy. You'll find out in the wind-up that you will make your mind up. You'll find out all your troubles will disappear like bubbles. You don't pay to be a nervous soldier boy. Don't be nervous in the service, soldier. Get a little bit baby, bub, 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 boy. Wait a minute. Come on now, everybody sing. Professor, one more time. Now I've seen everything. Tension! Who's in command here?
Lieutenant Adrian, Company D, 2nd Platoon. Order these units to move out of here at once. Yes, sir. Prepare to move on the double. Sergeant Rawlings? Yes, sir. I want to talk with you. So you're a radar expert, Sergeant. So you also know all about Echo, Sergeant. Do you know what the penalty is for falsifying papers? That's what I'd like to know. Is this a costume you want me to wear? Yes, and one further thing. Let's get the show going. We're behind schedule. Yes, sir. Come on, hit your positions. Girls, hey. places, music. You all right now, Mr. Rowling? Tim, you know, it's a funny thing. I dreamt I was in the Army. Well, whatever you dreamt, mister, the Army won't be like that, you know. You know, yeah, I know. Well, don't run away. You and I have lots to talk about. You 